Hello, welcome to Rigenix. Today we are going to discuss another creational design pattern, Abstract Factory. It will be extremely easy for you to understand Abstract Factory pattern if you know factory method. I strongly recommend you to watch my previous video on factory method before watching this. You can find the link in the description. Consider subscribing the channel and hit the bell icon to see all the simplified and excited videos on c -sharp, which will help you to be a better programmer. By end of this video, you will know what is abstract factory design pattern, why do we need them and how it is different from factory method. All this with a code implementation. So let's start. What is abstract factory? Gang of 4 defines it as provides an interface for creating families of related or dependent objects without specifying their concrete classes. Now let's also bring in definition of factory method. It says, define an interface for creating an object, but let subclasses decide which class to instantiate. Look at these words in the definition, an object and family of related and dependent objects. It means the factory method is used to create only one product that is nothing but it deals with instantiating only one required subclass. But abstract factory is about creating families of related or dependent products, which means a single abstract factory can instantiate multiple subclasses. Let's see our factory method UML diagram first. So here we have a factory interface, which is implemented by concrete factories. And any such concrete factory creates a type of product, which is then returned to the client. In our specific factory method implementation, the product was iMobile. So, to summarize factory method, there are factories that creates products, which means depending on the type of concrete factory that the client uses, it creates the concrete products. I have already discussed this in detail and in simplest way in my last video. Please watch that video if you would like to have a detailed understanding on this. Now, if we name all these classes and interfaces in the context of abstract factory, then partially it would look like this. Of course, I intentionally omitted couple of relationships here. I mentioned partially because this diagram is still a factory method diagram. Now, the question is, as per the definition, what changes we should make to the diagram to adapt this to abstract factory? Let's update the diagram. Can you realize the changes and identify how this diagram is different from factory method? I guess you have observed the differences. It means that any factory does not create a single product, but can produce multiple related product. I am often using product word here. This is as per the gang of four definition, but product means any class or we can say any subclasses that you want to instantiate. Now this in turn means Abstract factory pattern provides an interface for creating families of related or dependent objects. Now product A and product B are related objects here. If you look at the definition, the definition also says without specifying their concrete classes, which means which concrete product this factory will return is not specified. It is only determined during runtime or in other words, we can say that which concrete product to return is not a responsibility of factory, but it is a responsibility of concrete factory. Now, since concrete product A and concrete product B are related, we have given this capability to concrete factory 1 to produce them or to instantiate them. Similarly with concrete factory 2 as well. Now, if we change the diagram to our real world objects, then it will look like this. The most important thing that you should remember here is that abstract factory can instantiate or create two products, but we should use this pattern only when these products are related or dependent in some way. For instance, in our example, the get mobile and get signal strength are related to each other. The client who wants to create iMobile product, it is most likely that he might create iSignal product as well for the given mobile. Let's hop over to Visual Studio and see the implementation. I will update the factory method implementation project that we have created in our last video. 
So here we have a single product iMobile and we have created four concrete product, basically four mobile brand classes implementing iMobile interface. And we have one factory interface iMobile factory, which is implemented in our two concrete factory classes, Samsung factory and Xiaomi factory. All factory returns iMobile product but essentially using two different factories. Now let's update this project to abstract factory. Let's start by renaming the project to abstract factory. As mentioned, abstract factory creates families of related or dependent object. So let's create one more product interface iSignal. Now, as it can create more than one product, so let's rename product folder to our first product, mobile. Now let's create another folder to store our other product, signal strength. Let's name it signal. Let's create our concrete signal classes. The responsibilities of both these signal classes is to show how the signal strength is. Now at this point, do you have any idea what next changes we have to make? Yes, we have to update our factory interface as now our factory should be able to return more than one related products. So let's add our signal product as well. So first method will provide us the mobile and the second method will let us know how the signal strength is. Now accordingly, let's update our concrete factories. We have to implement get signal strength method. Let's copy this switch statement. So it should return our other product Samsung Galaxy signal. For now, let's not create a nine signal class. Similarly, let's make the update to our Xiaomi factory. So what we have done till now, instead of one product, now we have two product here, iMobile and iSignal, implemented these interfaces to their respective concrete classes. Then we have updated our factory interface to return two product now iMobile and iSignal and accordingly implemented our concrete factory classes. That's it. We are done with our abstract factory implementation. Let's see how client will use it. Let's add our class library references to client project. Mobile factory, get mobile, Let's pass the mobile type and call get mobile. Similarly, let's get the signal strength. Let's run this. We get the expected result. Xiaomi mobile created and it has a poor signal strength. Now let's swap our factory to Samsung. Samsung factory has been executed as expected. I hope you understood the concept of abstract factory and how it is different from factory method. Would appreciate if you can comment and let me know. Before wrapping this up, let's quickly summarize how abstract factory is different from factory method. As abstract factory is at higher level in abstraction, abstract factory must often use factory method to create the products or say to create its different subclasses. It means 
factory method hides the construction of single object whereas abstract factory hides the construction of family of related objects so in our case the related objects are iMobile and iSignal so if you need an additional level of abstraction over your factory pattern then abstract factory is the right design pattern to use abstract factory allows you to easily swap between different factory implementation abstract factory provides a way to encapsulate a group of individual factories that have a common purpose without specifying their concrete classes so if you have in your application different groups of collection of classes for instance like our mobile products and signal strength and say you want to give the client the possibility to swap the group of similar classes at runtime then you can use abstract factory design pattern most importantly the abstract factory pattern brings consistency amongst the products in a collection when product objects in a family are designed to work together for instance in our case samsung galaxy and samsung galaxy signal products are designed to work together then it's important that an application uses objects from only one family at a time it should be enforced that an application can only use product objects from a single family at a given time abstract factory makes this easy to enforce as i have shown here at a time client can use the method get mobile and get signal strength either from samsung factory or from xiaomi factory it cannot use both at the same time as already mentioned factory method creates single product but abstract factory creates families of related and dependent objects factory method is just a method whose responsibility is to just create one object and return to the client while in abstract factory the whole purpose of the class is to create families of objects since an abstract factory creates a complete family of products the whole product family can be changed at once that's all i have for abstract factory design pattern i hope you guys found this video helpful if it did then please hit the like and subscribe button and share this video with others to see more such contents thanks for watching